What type of photographer are you? Do you shoot fashion? Do you shoot beauty? Do you shoot landscapes? Do you shoot architecture? Well, whatever type of photographer you are, this is an awesome tool to help you create perfect color for all your images. And that is this, the Color Checker Passport. It's by x -Rite. And this tool has saved me a lot. Um, I do a lot of beauty and fashion work as well as uh, boudoir. And I like to get perfect color in all my images. And really before uh, switching to Sony, I was using Canon and this was perfect in Lightroom. But I have Capture One now and I wasn't able to um, create profiles or it would be a long tedious process but now this process has been shortened and you are now able to create ICC profiles in Capture One using X-Rite Color Checker Passport software so stay tuned I'm going to show you guys how to do that roll that intro <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna dive right in. This is Capture One, um, and this is a color profile, color checker passport right here. And like I said before, we're gonna use this to create a specific color profile for this set of images. I shot this in my home studio, and I use uh, clamshell beauty lighting. So. So this is what we're gonna do. This is how the image comes straight out of the camera. And it looks good already, right? So, but we're just wanna, we're gonna make sure that these colors are the way we want them to be. So what we're gonna do is, first step, you're gonna go right here to base corrections under your uh, color profile, your color correction um, settings in Capture One. And this ICC profile, you're gonna click on that, go to effects, and you're gonna do no color correction. And this is to prep your file for the customization with, with uh, the ICC profile. So then you're gonna go to curve, you're gonna put linear response. So you see how this took, took out pretty much all the colors and some people what they do is uh, they just crop the image to right here to where they want to uh, calibrate or um, you could just use the whole image uh, the software picks up the color checker passport so then what you're going to do is you're going to go here to process the recipe for the uh, image and what you want to make sure is you're going to make sure that it's in TIFF format and of course that you shot in RAW, 16-bit, uh, uncompressed, and ICT profile, you go embed camera profile and then name it and then export or well, process. So you're going to process the file and we're going to wait for that. All right, so once that's done processing, we're going to minimize this and hop into the color checker passport calibration software and i'm going to drag the file oh yeah also make sure to see uh, before it just said dng and dual illuminate luminate dng and now it says icc so in lightroom we were able to use the dng um, profile and create it that way but here in capture one you use icc so if you don't have this option on your software, you would want to update it. And I believe it's like 2.0 or something right now. So I'm going to drag the file in to capture, I mean, to color calibrator. It's loading. Oh yeah, by the way, my screen is calibrated, so you will be able to get the accurate color that you need if your screen is calibrated. But if your screen is not, don't worry. Um, there's ways you can calibrate your screen. Uh, if you have a Mac or Windows, there's ways you can do it without 
uh, the i1 profiler or anything like that. So the software picked up all the squares and then what we're going to do is create the profile and we're going to give it a name. So we're going to name this, we're going to say test ICC clamshell beauty and then um sometimes i didn't like to give the date uh so t the date that this shoot was it was on well we're just going to say it was today for right now uh let's see i don't even know what today is the 25th so jan 25th then we're going to hit save so I know that it was clamshell beauty lighting, January 25th. We're going to hit save. It's creating a profile while we're waiting. Um, yeah. So it's going to take a minute because now it says um, it popped up on my other screen, but it says the profile has been created successfully. Applications using the profile may need to be restarted. So that's what we're going to do. It's not going to show up in Capture One just yet. So if we were to go here and color profiles, go to other, it's not here yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to close Capture One. And I'm going to go right here, go to force quit, capture one, just so when we load it back up, it'll boot everything. So now we're going to open back up capture one. And you have to do the same thing Lightroom as well when doing this process. So we're back in here. And now that we have the file calibration, so we're going to go to effects. I mean, we're going to go to other. And now we see the profile. And there we go. There's our color profile for the image and that's how you create your color profile so then now you would just process the image as if you would normally do so I did my processing and these are how the images came out with the capture one color profile processing so we could clearly see that the reds are red and the colors are just nice and vibrant and poppy. So that's how you create a custom color profile in Capture One. I don't know why this is saying that, but yeah, that's, come on. This is how you create a color checker passport color profile, ICC, in Capture One. Yeah guys, so that's how you create a custom color profile in Capture One using the Color Checker Passport software, x Write software. So if you guys found this video helpful and you learned from this video, please let me know by putting a comment below. And uh, also if you're a Sony shooter and you're excited about this, uh, let me know as well. And uh, I would love to see how uh, your images come out. So. Uh, you can shoot me an email, I'll put my email in the description uh, below and I'll put links to the software and how you can get it and where you can get your color checker passport as well. I'll put those links. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just made this video because I was just happy that um, I'm able to finally do this uh, using Capture One. So until then, next video, I will see you guys shoot for your dreams. Let's live abundant this year, 2019. Let's make it happen. Peace.